colleagues uh, from news, the new nature. Uh, I want to congratulate uh, all the schools. They have increased their education or their graduation rate. What's important to know about this is Iowa is number one in the nation in graduation rate. And this, you know, sometimes we're skewed because of the percentage and how they calculated it, but now it's uniform. And I was number one, and we're still improving. And I, as a form, as an educator and a coach, and something I strive for and our schools strive for is continuous improvement. You know, it doesn't matter that you're number one, you still can improve, and that's the mantra of our educator's mindset. And so I want to commend all the thousands of teachers, the administrators, and the non-certified staff that are part of this uh, achievement. At Makokita, I, I, I reflect at my own school and say, you know, what could possibly be the reason that they're exceeding in this statistic? And then I look at the alternative classroom, where they take at-risk kids, troubled kids, and they find a way for them to be successful in a non-conditional study. It takes an investment on our part, and we've done that, and it's helping, it's making a difference. I look at a little thing, a micro thing, in regard to uh, what we call a teach-back period, where we're breaking down and having, you know, about eight to ten kids that we're responsible for, and then it's, you know, it's kind of what you probably remember as study hall, but it's, it's more personal where I look at their grades and say, hey, I see you have to redo your math assignment. Let's get that out. Let me help you with it. Do you have questions? Uh, you know, and making sure if I can't help them personally, if it's an advanced uh, chemistry and I'm not a capable of making sure they get down to that classroom and get the help they need. I also look at a small micro thing like a parent portal technology. The kids have access not only to manage their own grades and see what's happening with their grades, but their parents and everybody else in the school that's uh, licensed or supposed to see their grades has that ability to help them, assist them. And so those are tools that we're investing in here at the state to help our students be more successful. And I think it's playing on. We also have great guidance counselors. Uh, you know, not just sitting back and saying, oh, what college you should go to. They're so much more active than that. It's a team effort. And it takes a great team to continually improve and capture these students that may otherwise fall between the cracks. But I see, you know, to make this uh, a little bit more personal, you know, there's a teacher at McKinney that just resonates when it comes to at-risk children. Her name is April Edwards, Mrs. Edwards to most, and she's the ninth grade English choral teacher. I don't know if you guys think you have tough jobs, and I'd rather God dare you to go into her class for a week and try to do what she does with the challenging students she works with. And she does it with humility, grace, and respect. And her, her students just excel. I mean, they, they're probably kids, they're tough kids, but they do well. And what's fascinating, I, I would be up at the high school at 6, 6 30, running my wrestlers, and she'd be in that room with students. Working on English. And when I was done with wrestling practice at 6 o'clock at night, she was in that room with students. So, to all the people, Edwards, across the state of Iowa, thank you. Thank you for the extra effort you put in to make sure our students aren't falling between the cracks. And so, again, I know we're going to continue work for improvement with our education ideas here at the Capitol, but we are doing great things. And sometimes, we forget that, and so we need to be 